All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the Google Display Planner, how it's changed, how you can still kind of use it, and you know where it is now. So in the old AdWords, you used to be able to come up to the Tools menu, you had the Keyword Planner, and the Display Planner would actually let you click on it. Um, so now it's showing Display Planner is no longer available as a standalone tool. Forecasts are now available when you create a display campaign. So I'm gonna show you exactly where to find the display planner now because there's no longer a standalone tool. It actually comes up. So we're gonna create a new campaign, you know, select the goal for you. So sales leads is usually where I try to go to. So we're just gonna say sales display campaign. We're gonna do a standard display campaign. And what you wanna do is enter your website here. So I'm gonna enter surfsideppc.com. I'm gonna show you examples for surfsideppc.com and beachfronttocore.com, the other website I, I show in a lot of my examples. So we're gonna click on continue here. So just scrolling down. So you obviously want to select the location, languages, um, you know, bidding you can do for conversions. I'm not worried about bidding and all that stuff now. I just want to go over, you know, how the display planner works now. So the way the way it starts is people, so who you want to reach. So you can leave this wide open if you want and just go right down to the display planner and just come to content. Okay, so if we come down to content here, this is really where uh, the display planner is now. So you can find keywords, topics, and placements related to your website, related to your product or service that you're trying to, uh, to try to sell. So come into keywords, it's gonna say zero targeted keywords. We're gonna click edit. So enter your website here or enter your product or service. Okay, so I'm coming in here to get keyword ideas. I entered my website, surfsidepc.com. I searched PPC advertising. You could just enter your website. You're going to get a bunch of keywords. And it's going to pull in the top keywords that are most related to your website, most related to your, you know, whatever you search here. Um, and you can add all ideas right to the left. And now coming down to the bottom, they have two different settings. So you can either do content or audience. I'd highly recommend using audience because it's going to show ads to people who are more interested in those keywords rather than just showing it on content related to those keywords. So you know, if you said just content, then it's just going to show ads, you know, on pages like surfsideppc.com, um, you know, wordstream.com, probably wherever they're running Google ads that's related to PPC advertising. Audience is actually going to take, you know, people who have an interest in PPC advertising and show those ads to them, even if they're on a local news website, even if they're on, you know, just one of their favorite websites that's unrelated to marketing. So this is how you find keywords. You just come in here, enter your website, you can search a term click done. Now we're targeting these keywords with the audience targeting. And now we could just come right down to topics. So topics down here, you could just search, you know, just going to search marketing, you want to be a little bit more broad with topics. I generally don't use topics, to be honest, but let's just say I do marketing, maybe it's going to be something based on TV commercials. You know, you could just do very broad advertising and marketing under business and industrial, but that's very, very broad. Um, keep scrolling down, there's different, different things you can try that are related to marketing here. So maybe I do, you know, customer relationship management, you could do, you know, all sorts of different things. So topics, you just enter a keyword here and find, you know, the topic that's probably most related to what you're trying to target. Truthfully, I don't ever use topics at all because it's going to say you can choose a topic to target. It's going to say here, many web pages, apps, and videos about a certain subject. I just think it's too broad. I think it's like targeting broad match keywords on the search network. It's just, you're leaving it very open to interpretation. If I click on TV commercials, I mean, it could probably show up really anywhere. I mean, who's to say it's just going to show up on a page just related to, you know, how to create TV commercials. It could be really all over the internet, basically. So I don't generally use target uh, topics, but you could just uh, enter a word phrase URL here and find the topic most related for you. Last but not least, uh, so placements. So placements used to be basically the backbone of the display planner. Um, you used it basically just to find websites to run your ads, apps to run your ads, videos, YouTube channels, different things where you want to run your ads. Placements was re really where you found everything. So what you can do is search right here. We're just going to enter our website and it's going to pull in the top websites, YouTube channels, videos, apps, different things where we can run our advertisement. So we click on websites, it's going to pull in, you know, some of the different websites that are the most popular, most relevant. Um, so you can see here, these are very good websites related to PPC advertising, search engine watch, search engine reports, um, allbusiness.com, hopefully across marketing pages. So you can add these websites, you know, just like you would when you used to use the old display planner. So we're going to come back, you can go to YouTube channels, we actually pulled up ours here because it says Surfside PPC, but maybe you want to broaden out a little bit, we'll do PPC advertising, search. I don't know if it's just pretty cool ours is at the top, but I don't know if that's just because they know it's us. <laughs> but you can enter just 
you know, these YouTube channels here. And it's going to be very related because, you know, people don't really land on your videos by accident on YouTube, in my opinion. People aren't just going to be watching a Surfside PPC video after they're watching, you know, one of their favorite music videos or something like that. It's not like my video is going to come up after that. So if someone's looking at, you know, my YouTube channel or some of these other highly related YouTube channels, they're going to be interested in marketing, different things like that. So coming back here, uh, you could do specific YouTube videos. So how does pay-per-click advertising work? Uh, Amazon advertising. So we have our Google AdWords tutorial here. So different, you know, types of popular videos you can find related to, you know, whatever it is you're trying to promote. Same thing, apps, app categories, so all ads work, video ad maker, um, advertisement marketing, ad maker. So these are all pretty relevant because people are probably using these to create advertisements for their Google Ads campaigns, for Facebook campaigns, or whatever it is. So this is really where the display planner has gone. So you just come into the content targeting portion. You can enter keywords. You know, you can target keywords. You definitely want to use that audience targeting like I showed you. Um, you could target placements the same way you used to. I actually think it's improved a little bit because the old display planner, as it kind of went, started to get really, really irrelevant. I would search things and it'd pull up, you know, web pages that had nothing to do with what I searched. Sometimes I can only find a few relevant web pages, you know, through the display planner. So this is a great way to do it is just come in here, add content targeting. But the one thing to keep in mind is you're really going to narrow your reach by just using content targeting. So one of the things you want to do is open up content targeting to a very wide audience. So making sure you're adding, you know, really at least 100 placements, adding a ton of keywords. Uh, you want to add a lot here under content targeting. And sometimes when you're using audiences, demographics, and content, you're really going to narrow your reach. So making sure you have enough impressions here is really important uh, because impressions 2k is very very low and you can see here what's defining your reach so it's location so united states language english so it's only limited to those keywords so if i take away those keywords it's probably going to improve a little bit for you know what my impressions are going to be the the real thing that's narrowing it here is placements so placements is really keeping it low because i only have you know six total placements here so it's just keeping my total impression and reach very low uh, if we come down here, you can do automated targeting, conservative, aggressive, no automated. So no automated will only use the targeting you've set. Conservative, Google is going to say, okay, we have this set of targeting here. We have these people that are outside this targeting, but we really think they're going to be interested in your product or service. Aggressive automation is going to say, okay, we have even more people we found outside of your targeting that we're really going to go after. Aggressive automation is good for large budgets. So otherwise, I always just stick to conservative automation or no automated targeting at all, just keeping the, the targeting I set myself. And you can, you know, you have the targeting's reach over here. So just when you're creating your next display campaign, you know, just kind of play around with the content section here. Add a bunch of keywords, add a bunch of placements, um, you know, add different types of targeting. But the one thing is there is no longer the display planner tool. It just comes in now when you're creating your display campaign. So it, I actually like it better this way because I think it's pretty easy to find things. Um, the one thing I really like is under audiences. If you enter your website, a lot of times they'll give you suggestions, so ideas. So here you can see custom intent audiences auto created under new audiences. So pay-per-click management services. So search engine marketing services, search engine optimization services. So these are really targeted uh, types of intent audiences. And then you could also see in market audiences. So people who are looking for advertising and marketing services, um, people who are looking for CRM solutions. So there's a lot of different ideas here for targeting audiences. And that's really what you want to do is focus on targeting audiences rather than keywords and placements. But there's no reason not to play around with the display planner and figure out a way to create a campaign where you can really narrow down your targeting to people who are highly interested in marketing or whatever it is you're trying to sell. So this is where the display planner is now. It's a little bit different. It's actually pretty easy to use. Um, so just come in here and kind of play around with it. Uh, it's, you know, you no longer have this here, so you have to create a campaign to use it. And what I always say is with display campaigns is to create the campaign, set your targeting, keep your budget small at first, um, particularly if you have, you know, a smaller reach, keep your budget small at first, and then always try to find, you know, some 
you're always trying to find some optimal level of conversions for your campaign and then kind of add on to your keywords, add on to your audiences, add on to maybe demographics or narrow demographics as you add audiences. So kind of play around with the targeting and see what works best for you. Obviously set up conversion tracking when you're setting up these campaigns. We have a lot of display tutorials on our channel. So make sure you add the, you know, make sure you watch those if you're not completely familiar with everything. But this is a, where the display planner is now. This is our display planner uh, tutorial, really. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, you know, the best way to learn this is really just to come in here, enter your own products or services, your own website, and just kind of see, you know, what type of targeting you can find. So thanks again for watching our video and make sure you subscribe to our channel.